Hop. Hop. Oh. Is it okay? Is it is it fine? Internet, please. I'm just trying to do something today. All I've done today is freaking play Mario Odyssey. And not even like play Mario Odyssey because I was doing post game shit. I was just getting moons. Speaking of which. Hopefully we only need to start the soundtrack once. Do do do. <laughs> Bring this down. Oh my gosh, we're okay for a hot minute. That's good. Hi everyone. He he's doing it. He's believing. So yeah, just chilling out with some D and D. Uh, so Barry's not live and work canceled on me. So everything's just kind of not happening. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I've been looking for a clip to animate from Barry's channel. I found one, it's short, it's good. I'm gonna see how much I can get done in one stream and then we'll go back and when normal streams happen, I'll just go back to what I was doing before. So. Don't be scared. We're doing a small berry is animated. I really hope Barry's just canceling because of Death Stranding video. Because if he's not and there's something serious going on, I'm gonna feel like poo. But as far as I know, he just isn't streaming because he's trying to finish that video. So. I mean, I want to animate a thing for him anyway. Oh, he injured his foot. Well, that sucks. I mean, I imagine so, yeah. That being said, even though I completely support his decision not to stream, because I get it, um, it would be fun, since like, streaming is, he, the way he streams, like he just kind of uses the upper half of his body, I'd say even just upper third of his body. I think it'd be funny to watch him stream with like his like his injured like a boot over you know one of those medical boots over his one foot as he puts it up onto the thing. Also, I realize I'm doing something dumb. Let me start over. Lots of medical boots. Do you hurt yourself a lot, Magenta? Please don't. Also, against my anxiety's, you know, best judgment, I have a, um, I have a donation goal now. Uh, I, I'm, I have the bar up, even though I won't be using that during PS4 streams, because I can't. But, um, basically, I, I need a microphone. It has become incredibly clear to me. Damn. I hope you're doing okay now, Vagenta. Because nothing about you is defective. You're amazing. Also, we're going to pause the music. And we're going to listen to this clip of Barry. Uh, dear future Barry, your bottle sounds better. <laughs> I don't remember writing this. Okay. But hey, past Barry. Fuck. I mean, sure, but I still want to sound good. And that doesn't include my game streams where I'm using a headset microphone. So. Here's what we're gonna draw. Honestly, I can probably turn this off now. So, yep. 
We're just gonna do a funny little animation. I do want it to have more action than it requires, but hopefully this won't take forever. Like maybe a couple days animating is all it will take to really get this thing done. And most of that will be off stream. Maybe this will be a nice surprise present for when Barry's foot feels better. Ah, you gotta hydrate, kids. <laughs> also, let me move this. Give me a second. We're going to do something fun. Watch us through the power of touching my phone. I move a thing. Does that work? There it goes. Works enough. Stay up there for me. Yo, magic. Now it's in the upper corner. This way? There we go. A little straighter. Oh. He's a wizard, boys. I'm a wizard, Harry. That's not the quote. It would be really messed up. What the? I'm not even moving you like that. Oh wait, it's the thing. It's the charging cable. They pulled it. Okay, nope, nope. Come on now, behave. So many, so how, can someone just make a compilation of every time I have camera problems during a drawing stream? Wait, also my pinky was, my pinky really wanted to get up in the camera. There we go, should be good. Yep, okay, we're good. No offense, no matter how much I ever try to adjust that, it will never be, it'll never be okay on stream, you know what I mean? Like, I'll always look over during stream and realize the camera's off in some way. And maybe no one else will ever see it, but I will, and it annoys me. So yes, we have a donation goal now. That's about all the news I got. Now to draw, try and draw Barry. You know what the most annoying thing about Barry, besides the smell is? It's the fact that freaking, what is it? His avatar just has scribbles. Also, I'm not drawing his avatar perfectly. I'm, I'm, I'm putting my own Cahill twist on Barry's avatar. Give him a give him a long ass neck. Barry doesn't have a long ass neck, but the good thing about drawing Barry is the fact that thanks to his BS excuse of a full skin outfit. I don't have to draw fingers. I just gotta draw a mitten. I mean, I can guarantee when he started drawing that character, he was not thinking he's just wearing a full body outfit. He just didn't realize how many people would say how naked it is. Also, this camera is pointing way too down. There we go. 
See, this is what I'm talking about. No matter how much I adjust it, it'll never be good enough. Also, I gave him lots of space for that beard. I hope everyone's having a good day. My day's just been weird. You know? Because I was really unmotivated because I was supposed to have work. And then since I work in a place where we need to, where customers are outside, um, it rained and they didn't need me anymore, which is fine. Wish I had known that earlier though. Also, I'm not making Barry's beard all scribbly for this. It's just, it's gonna be a solid shape, which it already kind of is. But, even. But even more so, it'll be a solid shape here. There we go. I need to get to a frame. Stop, Vagenta, you. I don't really know what kind of excuse that was, <laughs> or response that was to Vagenta's thing, but. Do -do. Right now, this just kind of looks like random ass web comic character, but it will eventually be Barry. Barry with a Cahill twimpst. Also, something I also like about Barry's character is the fact that even though I'd say Barry has a pretty normal mustache for a man with a beard, he's, he just kind of gives his character a Wario mustache. And he just puts enough sauce on it that it doesn't look like a Wario mustache directly. But when you, but when you see him just draw the mustache, you realize that's just Wario. Wah. Also, camera, why are you so obsessed with showing my hair? Just boop it. Punish the camera for showing hair. Do, 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 do. I'm just kind of giving him like a little light. Instead of making it like fuzzy, I'm just kind of giving him like the lightning bolt styles. Because they're cute. Grant Kirkhope himself decided, hey, they need a Smash Brothers remix of my banjo songs. I'm just gonna play the banjo 
as fast as humanly possible. Now it looks like a man with a beard, uh, but just bald. But hey, maybe Barry is bald, and he's just putting on an elaborate ruse. Hi, Chad. For some reason, I really thought a raid was happening for a minute, but we're good. How are you today? This drawing is gonna look bad, but an animator isn't supposed to be a good artist. They're supposed to be a good animator. How was that? Really go into detail about that part, Chen. Tell us about that exam. Were you taking or giving? Because, I mean, you are a... You are a medical professional of some kind. Oh, you didn't have to do one. Okay. Well, the question still stands about whether or not you you would have been taking or giving. So, feel free to disclose disclose that if you're comfortable. Kale, can you play this next? Is this about to be some bullshit? Oh no. Yeah, no, that's fine. I love me some Spiral Mountain. Actually, I have the ultimate, I have the ultimate remix of Spiral Mountain coming up next. So if you want to listen to that, I feel like we're just going to listen to both. But, do you still want me to play? Chen is a top. Even though he can't afford my my third tier emote, which I don't play him because, like, why would you pay for that? Uh... Yep, that's looking good. <laughs> like, give it away what they want. Do do do. Gotta organize my pens. Chen, a top blasphemy. Vagenta, you literally don't think, listen, I know you're like, oh, well this famous person that you know is a top. Well, yeah, you don't think anyone we've ever talked to. I've never, ever, 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 ever seen Vagenta directly tell, that's a lie. That's a lie. You've called Zach a bottom for sure. You're just saying, also I'm gonna let this, this Spiral Mountain play, and then I'm gonna play the, uh, I'm gonna play, what the? And then I'm gonna play Pig's version. Okay. I feel, you know, you can go ahead and say that, Magenta, but, oh my God. Phone behave. I'm gonna have to do this. My phone is just like, hey, how about, I know you want me pointed at the art and definitely don't want that bottom half cut off because it is where you're working. But how about I just do that instead? And I'm like, hey, could you not? To 
I feel like instead of art, my stream is just chatting as I fuck with the camera. It's not a very good visual. <laughs> it's not a good visual stream, but it's a stream. More of a podcast. <laughs> Also, somewhat relevant because af after we're done with both Spiral Mountain versions, um, I beat Donkey. There's Gangplank Galleon, and I beat Donkey Kong Country for the first time ever on the Switch since they finally put it on there. Can I just say, I get why people like that game, and I kind of like it too. I think it's a little BS. Like, there were quite a few times where I was playing that game, and I was like, hey, that wasn't fair. And like, that game is punishing. So the fact that there were some moments in it where I was like, hey, that's not fair. Because yeah. you can look at a game like Dark Souls where you die a lot, and that's not really a big deal because they're, they're, the game is built around you dying a certain number of times in a certain, you know, certain ways. Donkey Kong Country is like old school platformer with like lives and everything. So when you die and run out of lives, you get sent back to the last place you save. Except save points are just like wherever the fuck. <laughs> And once again, this is criticisms of a game I enjoyed. Not saying didn't think it was good. Of course, if I'm to understand uh, people who like Donkey Kong Country, I believe, you know, I don't believe that they're all like the first one is the best. I think they all like the different entries. Unless someone's about to come in and correct me and be like, well, I'm a DK fan. And I think only the first one is good. And I'm like, whoop. Sound like Cranky Kong. But yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to play another Donkey Kong Country game. That game took me on a journey. And I'm okay with staying off that journey. Also, I'm going to pull my chair in so my hair isn't just there. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, this Donkey Kong Country. I'm not talking shit on it, I'm just saying. It's hard, and sometimes it's not hard in a very fair way. Like, in some ways, it's, it's good that they have Cranky Kong as a character who taunts you about how hard video games used to be because compared to some other uh, Super Nintendo games, that game is very old school, very hard and just like I mean, I'm not going to be like Donkey Kong is the hardest in the world. I beat it. It was fine. And once again I just think it ate, like comparing it to something like Super Mario World, which is like the like Donkey Kong Country was one of was later much later in the um much later in the super nintendo's life and i would argue between it and super mario world which is like the release title super mario world i believe i'd say it would age better just because it's a bit friendlier has some more fun mechanics well not more fun mechanics as much as just it's not kicking your ass all the time If I had to give my child one, then I would give them Super Mario World, is what I'm saying. And if I wanted to give someone who was like, I want a challenging platformer one, I'd give them Donkey Kong Country. But this is coming from someone who played uh, Ukulele the Impossible Layer, you know, after the whole Rare split and everything, and then Rare split again. Uh, and I like ukulele more than Donkey Kong Country. I said it. Hey, sir. 
What up? Hi, hello. Hello. Hey, Spooked, how are you doing? We're doing some Barry is Animated. Because Barry's foot is hurting, apparently. And he, and he can't stream, which is fine. I kind of want to ask one of my mods <laughs> to go into the into the neighborhood watch chat where I posted the stream announcement and be like, Cahill is now, now aware that Barry hurt his foot and hope he feels better and is still going to work on the animation. <laughs> My other one that isn't seen as well. Wow. Does Barry have a mysterious second foot? Also, my mom's awake. I went out to do stuff after I got kicked out of work and I come back and she's sleeping already. So, I can hear her walking around now. I left her a note being like, hey, if you need me, just call me. Cause like, I'm trying to stream, yeah. But this isn't like one of my official. Oh my gosh, Regenta. Um, this isn't like one of my official streams. If I need to stop streaming for whatever reason, or be like, or just take a break for a hot minute. Frankly, you're losing time. No. This is a much happier, this is like a way more Disney version of this song. And I love that. I don't know who did most of, because I'm sure it's all done by different people. But I don't know who like directs the music for the Disney parks. I wish I could get them to just kind of make music for me. They give off a very friendly feeling and I love that. I feel that spooked. That's the kind of tired where it's like, I don't feel super tired, but the moment I lay down, I pass out. Everyone dance! Dance fast. Two times speed, no! Fast enough already. Also, let me ask you something, because I beat Donkey Kong Country, right? And when I was fighting K. Rule, and I was like, so this is the guy everyone's obsessed with. Um, and I was like, Gangplank Galleon still rocks. I see why everyone loves it. Is the reason people speed the song up, is that just a meme in Barry's community? Or do people do that because K. Rule speeds up the fight as it goes along? It occurred to me, I was like, this fight gets faster as you fight him. Is that why people speed up Gangplank Galleon so much? Or is it just because it's already a fast song and they're just trying to meme? Or what's happening? Just because of that? Okay, that's fair. So it doesn't leave Barry's community, and it shouldn't, because it's a terrifying thing to witness as Gangplank Galleon goes at the speed of light. Wow, this pencil went off course fast. Oh my gosh, camera, camera, point this, I'm not even like the down that much. <laughs> and it's like, and it's just, it's just like, I'm gonna catch your hair. It doesn't matter if you're only leaning in a little. I'm gonna get your hair in this shot, bro. Don't even worry about it. And I'm like, I don't want my hair in this shot. And it's like, no, 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 fam, I got you. I'm like, you need to stop. I need to be stopped. Dude. 
Oh, so let me check what I said in Discord because I'm really scared now. Oh, thank you, pig. Well, I didn't know. Listen, pig, I appreciate the message first off. Thank you. And I was just scared because when I wrote that, it wasn't with the mindset that Barry had managed to hurt himself. So I wanted to make sure. So since I wasn't aware of that as I was writing it, I wanted to double back and make sure it wasn't insensitive. And that might seem weird to everyone, but. To be fair, my first message was like, Thank you. But my, the first, like the draft in my head that I thought of at first was Barry may have abandoned us. And now that I know that it was because he hurt his foot, I definitely know that would have been the worst version to put. So. Wait, who donated? What? What happened? Did it show up on stream? What the fuck? Who donated ten dollars? Did someone donate ten dollars? Chen, did you donate ten dollars? Chen, did you do a no? Just Chen. Yes, just no noise. What the? Let me make sure that's working for you, Chen. Because if you donate $10, I would like it to be... No, they... Pig! You liar! Oh my god. What? Okay, there it is. It worked? I'm sorry if there's no noise, but honestly, I don't think the noise is that important. I never said anything, I know. Yeah, well, it was Pig. You said it was Chen! Yes, just no no. Oh, you were in agree... You were in agreeing with Vegeta. You were just saying the alert worked. Okay, a giant misunderstanding just happened. But thank you, Mr. Pig. You wanna know something, Pig? I'm just gonna, for, I forget what you said you wanted to make your donation goal is, but we agreed we'd have a donation goal together, which means that I'm just gonna give it right back to you. I'm just, I'm just gonna, Pig, when you go live next time, I'm just gonna take that ten dollars. I'm just gonna go, Bleh, and I'm just gonna give it back. <laughs> and you can try and give it back, pig, but then we'll be caught in a cycle forever, and because of taxes, eventually we'll run out of money. No, don't look. Mike is more important. But what were you gonna, cause it is important, cause I would like everyone to go uh, support Mr. Pig, exclamation part, exclamation. Did you say you wanted a capture card? That is definitely more expensive than what I'm trying to get. Pig, do you want me to um show you the thing I got that lets me play just like, uh, well, if you have, well, what would you like to play Katamari on, Pig? Switch or something? Because if it's Switch, I can't help you. But if it's on, um, like, place Switch, okay, well, I can't help you. <laughs> Sorry, Pig. I tried. I've never played Katamari. I should get it on Switch. Or I could get it on PS3 and, uh, 
then I can just, you know. Is the, can you play the original Katamari on PS3? Because if so, I can play that. I can play that with the current setup I have. Or PS4, but honestly, I don't want the next game I play to be. When I'm done Horizon, which is a big if at this point, because the last two streams went bad. Um, Pikmin 3 for a Wii U game. I've heard Pikmin is good. I didn't know what Pikmin is. Then I saw it, and I was like, okay, I get it. I wasn't really interested in it, but I got, like, the idea. Because there are some games, like Ghost of Tsushima, that's a new game out. I have no idea what's up with that game. I can't tell if it's good, it's bad, or what's really going on. From what I got, it was open world and sword fighty. Oh, okay, I got you. But anyway, I do want to reiterate, because Pig might try and pull a thing where as I'm getting done Horizon, he donates another $60, and now Pig just rules over whatever I play next time. Um, I don't want to play another PS4 game. I'd like to play an NES or, uh, an NES, SNES, or Wii game. Or, if someone wants to donate like $200, I'll go get a GameCube or an N64 and get some games with that to play. But I don't own those, so... I doubt that's going to happen. Actually, no, don't donate money. Donate N64 and it comes rocketing through my uh, monitor <laughs> into my office. At the end, you find out that the Ghost of Tsushima was trends you made all along. Sp Spooked! Spoilers! I was maybe going to get that next year, two years from now. Come on, man. If Horizon Zero Dawn is any indication, I was gonna get it three years from now when the sequel was announced. Vagenta, I already shouted pig out. <laughs> but that's good. You can never have too much pig. And hey, pig, look. When I use my command for you, it doesn't, it doesn't time me out for shouting myself out. That was weird. When we found out that that happened with the uh, command on your stream. Me and Vagenta cannot use the commands assigned to ourselves on Pig Stream because it sees it as us trying to give ourselves a shout out and Mubot goes, no, no, no. Yep, see, it works. We are actually hella dead. That's fair. I'm dead inside already. Too bad, Vagenta. Feel the appreciation. Delete that, no. Don't you go, don't you know, know my art, art of art. In the horizon, uh, uh. You gotta blow on your drawing and make sure it's secure. There, it should be good now. Hydration. But yes, also, yeah, go ahead, Magenta. Blow this drawing of Barry Kramer, Bartholomew James Kramer. Blow Barry. It is time. So what we're gonna do is, as like an idle kind of animation to start off, also, I'm gonna draw a background eventually, but I'm just not gonna do that this stream. Um, I'm gonna have him kind of like rubbing his chin, so it's gonna probably go back this way. Probably like into his beard, kind of. Magenta, would you label Barry as a celebrity crush of yours? Okay, that's fair. Not as a crush. That's fair. You can just appreciate him for being kind of attractive or just attractive if you're gonna go that far. Your last time. Huh? Yeah, that looks good. The power of animation. 
Oh, too blue brain. No, <laughs> juice. Don't get weird. <laughs> I'm. This is gonna be a weird. This is gonna be a kind of weird statement. I'm. <laughs> can have poo brain. This is true, they're called himbos. But um, what was I thinking of? I would like to say, I'm, I'm happy that the Neighborhood Watch as a community, uh, as a team, has managed to just kind of like, you know. <laughs> oh no, I'm in trouble. If poo brain can't be cute, I'm gonna have issues finding someone to date. But anyway. I was just gonna say, I'm glad the Neighborhood Watch is like a community. Seems to just kind of be equal opportunity in a lot of ways. One of which is that I don't think we have any problems with what gender anyone is when they're streaming. Cause, you know, with my very basic understanding of how the internet works, that is an issue in some corners of it. If you want to be a streamer, but maybe you're not a guy. And that sucks. But this community is very open-minded and cool and great. And the fact that I have a little section of it that occasionally watches me streams is even better. Because it's nice, to, it's nice to have. It's nice to have nice people. Look for, Chair died. Chair's not streaming anymore. I turned to my other tab saw he stopped when he does usually stop around the time Barry starts streaming so nervous wait Cahill what happened to hand I I work at a restaurant and I looked over one day in my hand and I had a scrape on my arm and here's the thing the scrape on the back of my hand wasn't that bad it has developed into a pretty nasty like flesh wound and now it's healing again. So I don't know what the fuck happened to that thing. But it's okay. I'm just... I was worried it was gonna get... No, I was worried it was gonna be infected, which is why I started covering it up with a band-aid. But it's, go, it's doing okay now. At this point, if it was infected, I feel like I would know. It's been there for a couple days. And it's very slowly healing. This... Yeah, minor infection, maybe. Cause it did get nasty for a minute, but I literally just, like the scab was kind of, this is gonna be gross. The scab was kind of gross. So I just ripped the scab off, put some antibiotics on it. And now it's just a normal scab that is slowly healing away. But also, yeah, yeah, it's gross. I'm sorry, Spook. Yep, that's how it, I am. <laughs> no, let me finish. Let me finish one thing. The scrape was fine, right? I think it might have gotten burned or something, like I might have burned it on a pan or anything. Fails canceled. I've been canceled. Uh, because it's almost like the wound is like divoted. You know what I mean? It's like a crater in my hand. And I don't get why. Also, let me ask you guys something. By doing like... <clears throat> gotcha. Everyone got gotten. What was I thinking of? Oh yeah, also I want to ask. So I learned a while ago, the holes in Jesus's hand, those are called stigmata. Are stigmata Jesus's specific holes? And like, are stigmata just the holes in Jesus Christ's hand? Or if you were to get crucified, would those be considered stigmata? Does anyone have any clue about this? Stop. <laughs> Christian channel. Not even ironic. Also, Juice has answered with yes. So, good to know we have an expert. Jesus, the Vagenta, I swan. This is like the first, like this is one of the first streams I did. Quick, someone clip it. You better not. Anyway. Whenever I joke about this being a Christian channel, I'm only half joking. Because I've, I've gone on into this a little, but you know. 
I'm a little faithful. So, like, even though I'm not going to push religion on anyone, I'd definitely rather not make the pun about Jesus' holes. So, which I've now said twice. Which is great. Cancel him. It really was up to you and your choice of work. This is fair. I did not think through. Which is, I think, the excuse of most streamers is that they didn't think. Jesus' hand wound. Yeah, but that doesn't cover what I was trying to say. Because what I'm saying is, if you have a... Yo, super nerd, good to see ya. But what I'm saying is, it's not just if you have a hand wound, because I have a hand wound right now. But I'm saying, if you... Okay, let's look up what stigmata is, actually. But what I'm saying is, if you have a hole through your hand, is that a stigmata? Stigmata, wait. Definition. Okay, it is specific to Jesus. Oh, okay. Well, now listen. Even as a man of the faith, don't always trust the church. But, at the same time, I, I, I trust them enough to say a definition of a... <laughs> I trust them enough to give us a definition of a word. Okay. There's a whole other thing. I'm not even sure I want to ask about that. Also, it just occurred to me, Mr. Pig, weren't you the one who, a while ago, in my early streams, t were ta telling me about a specific kind of cyst and people digging them out? I'm gonna... D spook? That pun is awful. Okay. So that is what, that is what, uh, Juice was saying, is that people who are deemed worthy in our good look, good boys JC's eyes get get them yeah sebaceous there you go oh no uh super nerd because yeah you talked about that a while ago which I mentioned but um that's how I think it should be everyone should have to like if we're gonna trust a book that's fine, but everyone should be able to have their own interpretations of that book. Because, you know, it's kind of filled with metaphors. You had that on your neck? Oh, that's awful. Oh. Oh. You know, of all the places I could think to have a cyst, neck would be bad. Because here's the thing. The neck does a lot of important things, like holding your head up. So. Hey, uh, mute. <laughs> That's that's fair, Spook. Hey, Spook. Hey, Spook. That's fair. What was I thinking of? Also, to talk about something, let's talk about literally anything other, anything else. Um, with the donation goal, two things. First thing is, I'm gonna just keep like I don't trust this bar enough, so I'm just gonna keep in my head how much people donate, and when we reach a hundred, uh. I'll get that microphone. And second off... That's a very good interpretation, super nerd. But anyway, second off is, when I do get that microphone... Absolutely. You know, I don't usually like to talk super deep in this channel, but I think those are some very good and or wise interpretations. But moving on, um, when I do eventually get a microphone, because whether it happens now or two years from now, I'll have to figure it out. I'm either going to need a webcam, no mistakes here, definitely no poop. <laughs> well, pig, you're not a person. You're a pig in a top hat. And until I, until you decide to have a face cam, I mean, you already do have a face cam, but until your face cam shows differently, that's all I'll ever believe. 
But anyway, I'm either going to need to figure out how to use my iPhone as a webcam or just buy a webcam. Which, I mean like, maybe I'll just have to suck it up for art, art streams and finally buy a proper camera. But that's a while off. I mean, I could Google it now, but... Oh my god. Why? My hair... I don't even dip that low, and the camera just picks up my hair. You can get a webcam for cheap, super cheap. Yeah, but good quality webcams? I mean, probably. Actually, yeah, probably. My grandma... Ah, You seem very wholesome, super nerd. But have a good... Have a good time. Have a good day and or night. Have a good next 24 hours. Cause I can't promise you a good anything else really, but I can wish you a good 24 hours. Look, you don't need four, this is fair. I don't even stream really high. Okay, well maybe I will get that. Well actually I'll pro, if I can't just find a tutorial on connecting my phone to Streamlabs to stream shit, then I'll get, then I'll look up something about how to, you know. Cause some, he's trying to outbid me getting Whitney. Oh my gosh. Are we back on Animal Crossing Black Market talk? My fave new aspect. Was that a thing in New Leaf? Were people doing fully trading villagers when New Leaf was out and big? Or is this new to New Horizon? Since like forever. Okay. I was just wondering. Because, you know, people were always asking for new Animal Crossing. But I never really heard about people fully black market trading their villagers. So. And I know people are like, well, it's not that bad. And I, yeah, sure. But I only consider it a black market because it's not like an official Nintendo thing. I don't think Nintendo endorses like this whole ass ec economy. I'm at 8 million bells. Oh my gosh. If Spooked wanted to, they could just buy everything on their island, but they want Whitney, so they're going to spend it on Whitney. Which I mean, uh, it's fair. It's their prerogative. But do you guys think bells are like one in one with the dollar, with the US dollar? or any other kind of currency? Or do you think bells are more equivalent to cents? Because when you think about it, you can sell, like at least with my uh, experience, like weeds for close to $100, yen maybe. Isn't yen like basically a penny? And I'm not trying to insult the yen if it's not, but I thought my basic understanding was that, like, you know, yen is like a super inexpensive currency and Japan's solution to that is to just make people spend hundreds of it. That is just my experience with Japanese games and the few things I've heard about the yen itself. If I'm wrong, please correct me. If you're like, if yen is a dollar, I would not consider it cheap. But if it's like a penny, then yeah, yen. A hundred yen to a dollar. Okay. So, assuming since Animal Crossing is a Japanese game, and I don't think they necessarily localize the prices of things in each version, like, eight million yen would be closer to... <laughs> what's... It'd be closer to, like, eight thousand, uh, US... Uh, USD. No, not eight thousand. Yeah, eight thousand. Take the two zeros off. I'm just trying to imagine 
<laughs> the placement of the numbers in my head, and it might make me look dumb. 80,000. Okay, calm down. I just have to think. <laughs> yeah, you're right, because taking one zero off would only be 800,000. Listen, I am calm. Oh, sorry. The fact that the zero, for some reason, in my head, I thought you typed 80,000 in all caps. I thought you typed 80,000 in all caps. Cause that's the real poop brain moment. <laughs> Is that I thought capital letters existed. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that pig. <laughs> if someone wants to clip something from that stream, clip that and call it capital letters. Because fucking poo brain moment. Capital letters do exist. Do they? What do they look like? Legenta, if you want to provide some kind of link or proof, capital number. Damn it! Fucker shit! I'm a moron! <laughs> I'm an idiot! Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. I'm glad I left that note for my mom. Cause she would be wondering why I'm screaming in the basement. Think you're thinking about it wrong. Yen is just the same as if we counted our money in penny. Well yeah, that's what I was asking. Also hi Zade. But yeah, no, that's what I that's basically what I was asking. But no offense, I don't really have a problem with that. Like, in America, we have this idea of, like, pennies are basically worth nothing. A dollar is, like, the very base amount of money. And everything up from there is, like, you know, different amounts of money. But if, like, everything was just a single unit, like, I think that would be simple. I'm sure it has its ups and downs and whatever. I don't know e economics. Do it. Magenta, you can clip. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, what was I thinking of? Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about... Oh shit, you're right. But yeah, I don't know anything about economic. Hey, myth. Wait, please tell me you got me screaming at the top of my lungs. Oh, so that's fair, Vagenta. I didn't know you were on mobile. Oh, wait. It said it was unmuted. For some reason? In my head, I thought you typed 80,000 in all caps. I thought you typed 80,000 in all caps. Cause that's the real poop brain moment. <laughs> Is that I thought capital letters existed. <laughs> For oof, some reason, oof, it's even worse when I'm not screaming. <laughs> You've never done it over text before though. Anyway, back to songs. You're so happy. Aww. Zade made Vagenta happy. Or me being an idiot made Vagenta happy. Either way. I heard you were canceled. I probably am. In our cancel culture age. Pig only got me. It, the clip got cut off as I said capital letters don't exist. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> That's a pretty bad look for your old friend Cahill. Also, uh, even though I've been trying to do longer streams, I'm probably going to cut this off around two, like hard cut off at like two hours and then maybe a little before then. I want to do more of this animation though. Uh, just because I don't want like my mom fully going to bed or whatever without with me still in the basement doing whatever so I want to say good night it's an important part of tradition I love when the Wi-Fi goes out because of sudden thunderstorm hey juice that's been my entire week entire week buddy other news I got a beta code for fall guys 
I can't play because my modem is old. What's Fall Guys? Enlighten me. I'm unaware. In Teach Cahill your ways, your falling ways. I was like coloring Barry's beard. Barry need Barry Barry has highlights put. I mean not highlights. He dyes his beard so it doesn't turn out all gray and muddy because he stinks. But um, what was I thinking of? But you know he he'll never admit that. Game like Wipeout. Oh, that's cool. That does seem cool. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to play that either, Zade. <laughs> I was, when me and Pig, because me and Pig were talking, and we were both like, hey, we don't like asking for money, but we do kind of need stuff, you know, we do need people to do, give us stuff if we want to put more into streaming, so we agreed to make a donation goal, and he wanted the capture card, I want a mic, and I was saying, like, I wouldn't get a capture card unless I just get a whole ass PC, because right now, all I have in way of like just computer is my laptop, my MacBook laptop. So I don't have much options in that regard. Plus I prefer playing on console anyway. So it work, It works out better for me to get a microphone. It's guitar time. I'm, do, I'm getting a little messy here. Well, Pig, that's yours to figure out. But, yeah. Listen, I don't think any, okay. And we've talked about this many times. This was like one of the first topics I started talking about when I started streaming. No one likes talk, liking, asking for money, unless you're a dick and you think people should just give you money for no reason. Um, but my thing is just like, I'm not, the reason I even have it up there is just so that um, people know that, hey, if it's not a thing of like asking people to donate, it's like, if you donate, you will actively help me improve these and make them better. So if for some reason, you, you know, enjoy what I'm doing right now and you would like it to have a more professional feel to it, then consider giving me money so that way I can make that a reality. So. I think it would be crossing the line for me to set up a donation goal and be like, okay, you better donate. If you're in the stream, donate. That would be a dick move. I'm happy for people. When I like get like over 10 viewers, my day, like first off, when I get someone in chat, I'm already happy. When I get over 10 viewers, I consider it like a successful stream. Money almost never factors into that. And while I appreciate someone like Mr. Pig for do donating $10 earlier, even though I'm just gonna give that right ass back to him. Um, <clears throat> it is not a necessity. But they are awful. Yeah, I don't wanna be in those streams. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, I have my own money problems. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm watching Twitch is cause it's inherently free. You can put as much money into Twitch as you like. You think if I had money, I would be, I'd be watching a streamer? No, I'd be watching Amazon Prime. But did you know that with Amazon Prime, you get uh, so Twitch Prime, and for you get one free sub a month? Also, 
This is gonna seem like a capital letters. Wait, pause the left. I hate to pause the athletic theme, but let's let's hear. Uh. Also, oh my gosh, Vagenta did that on mobile. The, for some reason, in my head, I thought you typed eighty thousand in all caps. I thought you typed eighty thousand in all caps. That's the real cool brain moment. Is that I thought capital this is going to be bad. Existed. Oops, sorry about that, pig. If someone wants to clip something from that stream, clip that and call it capital letters. Cool brain moment. Capital letters do exist. Do they? What do they look like? Magenta, if you want to provide some kind of link or proof, capital number. Damn it! Fucker shit! <laughs> I'm. That was pretty good. Vagenta is a real one. So, well, damn, it was horrible. <laughs> oh yeah, no, shows are spooked. I would like to clarify, that's mostly joking. Cause I mean, my parents have plenty of streaming services I can use, but I still prefer watching uh, friendly streamers. Did you know that when you have Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime free? Juice, are you sub to me? Because you're using my thing. Or did you unlock that? That's also okay. I only watch cartoons slash anime, really. Same. I want to get back to Violet Evergarden. I watched the first episode. I was like, this is cool. And then I got out of it. The problem with anime is I do things like anime a lot. So, yeah, no, that's fine. The fact, Juice, the fact you have channel points is cool to me. <laughs> and the fact that you've spent channel points is even cooler. Um, what was the thing you know? But yeah, the problem with anime for me is I do drawing and shit. So my eyes will be looking at like, you know, my primary activity, which is this. And when you're watching anime and you need to read subtitles, that can become problematic. <laughs> Fluffy Bulalian Stitch. I like how I, I probably wasn't the first one to call you Stitch. In fact, your name might've been Stitch at one point, but I just like that I've just sort, I've, I've shortened it. You're not Fluffy Bulalian, you're Stitch. Because that is, in fact, the reference. <laughs> Epic Barry, yep. This is a new expansion. I'm making the, oh yeah, you're right. Listen, I can't remember everyone's names. I don't remember, Vagenta, I remember when Vagenta switched his name because Barry made a whole hissy fit about it. But I don't remember what Vagenta's name is. And now Vagenta's one of my best friends. So like, you know. Also, I did the math. Assuming, assuming I consider everyone in the Discord my friend, and they consider me a friend back. Uh, what is the thinking of? I have a total of like seven friends, <laughs> not counting like Twitch chat. I was like a bunch of friends. Cause hey, that can be unhealthy and you should be careful if you consider doing that. If you watch someone on Twitch and want to consider them your friend, that's fine, but be careful. Make sure you're not in some kind of unhealthy, one-sided relationship. Haunted Mansion Rhymes. Make it using Spoot, coward. Okay, I gotta think. I can't believe Spoot. Spoot, you have a... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Poor old Spook. Uh, who could be scared to death when someone said boo and his heart stopped him. Okay. I will type it out. So... 
uh, people can see it. Poor. This is this is weird. This is the weird for the first time happening. I stand by this though because it's cool. Round up. Okay, this is. A, I'm gonna make that made that a little expensive because these take some effort. I'm realizing now. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know what Spooked just redeemed, uh, also hi Chen. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what Spooked just redeemed, they redeemed Haunted Mansion rhymes, which is I make you like a tombstone based off what I know of you. So I ask you provide a fact, and from there. I make you a tombstone like the ones out front of Haunted Mansion. So, for Spooks, I did, Poor old Spooked who wound up scared to death when someone went boo and their heart stopped in their chest. It's kind of a half rhyme, but I thought that was pretty good. So yeah. I don't know if you can reserve tombstones, but I guess you're free to use that. You, I guess you're free free to use my rhymes as your tombstone if you really want to. Yeah, basically. Uh, I wouldn't just call a poet. The reason I don't is 100. Is it 100 points? Shit, I need to up that then. <laughs> I, I was just happy to make them. Yeah, I know what channel. Oh yeah, you're right. I just figured no one would ever use it. So I made it super cheap. It's a hundred points. I should make it a thousand at least. That way, someone who that way, someone just coming into stream, everyone get one now. Oh my gosh, I made one for you a while ago, Pit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, wait. no. Are we really just gonna? Okay, if anyone redeems one, it's fine. If anyone redeems one from now on, it is invalid. I need to go. I'm gonna up them before I do these two. I'm upping it to ten thousand. <laughs> Because I, 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 it took me a full five minutes to do spook, and I can't take, I can't take that much time to do everyone's individually. <laughs> so give me a minute. Uh, channel, wait. No one's doing it, right? Thank you. <laughs> if y'all have ten thousand and you want to spend it on that, when I update it, that's fine. Permissions. Where is channel points stored again? Stream schedule. Auto host. Raids. Drops. Oh my god. Preferences. Collection. Uh, channel points. There we go. Edit. No, not that. Enable channel points. Yes, enable. Custom display. I know how. Oh, man. There we go. Uh, edit. <laughs> Up that just a little bit <laughs> to 10,000. Okay. So if you refresh now, it should be that. And if I see anyone redeem it to freaking, uh, <laughs> if I see anyone redeem it for m less than that, then I will, I will call BS. Anyway, Bryce beatboxing on my channel. Yes, the Haunted Mansion Disney World. I'd say pretty... Based on what just happened, I'd say pretty high. Um, okay, let me type out pigs. Mr. Pig. Okay, so Pigs is old Mr. Pig, he sure was a bud, till he was stabbed in the back and wound up in the mud. And then, uh, Chen. It's 
Thank you, Juice. Pig, you should have known what I was writing. Chen's is extra morbid because I wrote it as poor Chenology. Our bond was so thick, but he wound up, but he worked as a doctor and wound up real sick. So, if any of these, first off, if any of these actually work as your real tombstones, I'll be concerned about how you died, because most of them involve murder. But um, like I said, if they're applicable, I guess. So there, Chen and Pigs are done. Good friends. I see, Caleb. That's, do people not get what Haunted Mansion rhymes mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew that, I should have known that was a bad idea. I should have known making that a reward is a bad idea. That's why it's 10,000 now. <clears throat> Chen, you should know how much I appreciate your friendship. I'd never want to see you go. Hey, Vagenta, that last thing you said, Corona or bust? Yeah, some people seem to be thinking that way, don't they? Oh, sick burn. Oh, sick political commentary. Pew, pew, pew. Good thing. Was it Chen, or was that the stupidest reward I've made so far? I've made some stupid awards. So, <laughs> think carefully before you answer. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad who redeemed them? Mr. Pig spooked Chen. Also, thank you, Juice. Again, Haunted Mansion rhyme, Magenta. Okay. Magenta, Magenta was the first person to spend 10,000, I believe. Yeah, I think Magenta was the first person to spend 10,000 on it. Uh, okay, now I gotta think of one for Magenta. Great. Mm. Let me think. Let me think. The gent is hard. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. No, I'm not saying. Oh my gosh. Magenta's gonna yell at me for this one. You said do it, coward. Also, the first line is a joke, but it made it rhyme. We just go, okay, what he said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Juice and Magenta. But Magenta's rhyme is, Magenta, my friend, whose fave color was pink, Till his brain slowed to a halt and he could no longer think. So I guess in this canon, in what I in the picture I've in the fate I've painted for Vagenta, his brain just got slower and slower until he just could he just couldn't function anymore. Oh yeah. So if you want these morbid haunted mansion rhymes, and by the way. Don't blame me for coming up with the, this idea. This was definitely Disney. They thought of this first. <laughs> but I hope you like it, Magenta. Once again, I hope this isn't the worst reward I've made, or on Twitch in general. 
There has to be a like a really bad Twitch reward out there, right? Why? Juice likes to listen. Juice just wants to be multicolored. Okay, so oh, why is seriously hair stream stop? Anyway, uh, what was I thinking of? Oh yes. Uh, damn it, I lost it again. Oh yeah, I remember. So, speaking of multicolor, chameleons, so, <laughs> not be accused of being spooked ever again. I am coral now. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, but anyway, so, chameleons are, yeah, but, no, Oh, it spooked, <laughs> spooked follow juice and is now also orange. Anyway, so it is somewhat a well-known fact, I guess, that chameleons don't change color to hide. They change color based on temperature and mood. What I am wondering is why is that, why does that make more sense? Why does it make more sense that they change color because they get hotter and not because they change color? The fucking I can understand. They change colors because they get horny and they want other people to know that. Communication? Okay, that's fair. But still, I'm just saying, if a zoologist comes up to you and be like, don't be stupid, how could they change colors to hide? When heck, I mean, listen, cuttlefish do it. And cuttlefish are great, so. Hey, we established I'm a fourth of a fur furry. Definitely not a scaly. If I have to throw my camp, if I have to throw my hat into the camp of furry or scaly, I'm going with furry because then I can watch the Goofy movie over and over again. Cause we all know that the Goofy movie birthed a lot of furries in the early 2000s, and no one can argue against that. If you weren't in love with Roxanne, aka the girlfriend of the movie, then you were at least, you were at least, then you have unresolved feelings about Max, the protagonist. Rescue Rangers, also understandable, because they had Gadget. Also, the cuttlefish are also smarter than some litters. Most, here's the thing. Almost, octopi, and I think squid, maybe not squid, but definitely octopi, and maybe cuttlefish, are way smarter than most people give them credit for. What if I didn't watch those movies? And you're still a furry? That just means you're a natural, you're a natural birth for furry. Anyway, and pig, understandable. But any, I, like, and I'm not ashamed to say that, because like I said, we've already established my percentage. But regardless, I think if our, there's an SCP that is just like a super smart octopus, that's like, and like, it's fun, sure, to be like, this is an evil genius octopus, it'll take over the world, whatever. But here's the thing, that octopus is only slightly smarter than real life octopuses, which is, while, because you realize many octopi are out there, which I'm just switching in between octopi and octopus, because who cares? Um, because many octopi out there, like, outsmart the people trying to keep them in aquariums. And if they want it to be, like, malicious about it... No, fursuit... That is arguably the biggest problem with fursuits. They're terrifying. Anyway, octopus is... Octopuses is is correct? Okay. But anyway, the only thing stopping, like, octopuses from taking over the world is that they're pretty happy just kind of eating clams in the ocean. I'm sure if humans started taking clams away from octopuses, they, they'd get a little bit smarter and declare war on humans. And honestly, I think we might, it, it, I think it'd be a hard fought war. Not sure we could win that one. 
Because here's the thing. Humans would have to try and overcome a lot of dumb politics to, to band together, to band together against um, the octopuses and f fight them. The octopuses would have one policy and it would be get the clams back. And, and automatically every octopus in the world would be on the same side. Uh, so into that can't develop. Oh, is that? Oh, well, Zade, guess what? That's, you're trying to say that's not actually the re... That's, Zade, you do realize that's more terrifying. Because that means we've never seen an adult octopus. We've, every octopus that's ever outsmarted a human or done something we think is clever has only been a toddler octopus or a child adolescent only live five years a baby octopus is outsmarting humans if octopuses lived to human lifespan there's the possibility that they could f i'm getting heated about this because if octopuses live to 80 years they might take over the world evolution works like that you know that the strongest survive you know what i mean like, if something develops a mutation that makes it stronger um, than the previous incarnation, that w they will then be more likely to reproduce, and thus, you know, so on and so on, you get different animals. So therefore, if an octopus develops a mutation that makes it live for 80 years, and it starts passing those genes on, then we should, then humans might, might not be the definitive like, you know, dominant species. They could just be like a dominant species. You all might think I'm crazy, but I was like calming down until Zay told me his fact. And then I realized, oh, we're fucked. If an octopus lives longer than five years, we're all screwed. Cause then they'll start learning. Cause then, then they'll invent octopus algebra. And think about it, we can't bomb octopuses, they live in the ocean! Get rid of the ocean. Yeah, but then guess what? Then we're in a matrix situation, and we've ended the world to try and end the war. And the whole thing's screwed. Here are the Yeah. Once again, you're all gonna think, oh, it's pup time. Hello, pup time. You're not evil octopuses. <laughs> what if? Go on, Magenta. No. Yeah. We seduce the octopuses. Yeah, but Magenta, based off of hentai, it works the other way around. So we're screwed in that front too. In every, in every sense of the word. <laughs> no offense, if we, Vagenta, you think you've cracked the solution, but you don't realize is the fact that if we bring seduction and espionage into this, the octopuses will win because every person who's ever watched and enjoyed hentai will, will automatically be on their side. But Zade, so here's the thing. The reason I freaked out so much Zade at your fact is because with the very, even though it probably doesn't work like this, what you're saying to me is that octopus brains could develop much like human brains do. They just don't live long enough for that to happen. And that to me is terrifying. And maybe I need to do more oceanic research to learn that that isn't true. But if it is true, that's awful.
theoretical question for you guys. Do you think that humans could exist if a, if a species like hyper-intelligent octopuses ruled over the ocean? You know what I mean? We never interact with each other because we have the land and they have the ocean. But do you think we could coexist with two societies living in the different environments the world have given us? Opinion, please state your opinion below. Could we work them into the, could we work the octopus, the new octopus nation into the UN? Is there literally an anime about this? That's my thought as well of Agenta. Sort of. Is it assassination classroom? Don't tell me it's assassination classroom. That's not an octopus, that's an alien. It doesn't count. If I look this up and it's assassination classroom, I'll be upset. Googling. Assassination classroom is about like this uh, super powerful alien that comes to earth and starts wrecking shit. And then it's like, hey, I just want to teach a class. And if that, okay, it's not this. It looks like a mech anime, that's cool. Okay, but anyway. But yeah, but then the alien goes like, hey, let me teach a high school class. And if these kids can kill me uh, in, the, in a year, I won't destroy the earth. It looks cool, pig. If I can finish Violet Evergarden, maybe I'll watch it. <laughs> Cause that would be, if I had to have an anime watch list, I, ha I would have to put Violet at the top. Cause here's the thing. I don't think this counts as spoilers, but what got me into it is I saw a, a lesbian wedding episode slash movie and freaking I, hey Zade, that, that seems like a really good review to me. Okay, well that's, that's double good, double good. I'm glad every, I'm glad I brought this one anime up, like I need to finish this and everyone out of me like goes, it's so good. Also, I, I think this will, I think this will, um, n this will be much easier to watch, but, uh, when Korra, because they announced Korra is coming to Netflix, I need to finish that. Because here's my thing, I didn't finish Korra. I got through the first couple episodes, and then they, and then they kept switching the schedule up, and this was before I really, like, watched stuff on my computer, so I never got around to watch, watching the rest of it. I was just watching TV back then. But anyway, um, what was I thinking of? But here's my thing. There's the whole thing in the Avatar fandom about like, Korra is not that good, blah, blah, blah. I think Korra is probably a perfectly fine show, maybe even a good show, but Avatar, I could consider Avatar unironically like one of the perfect shows. Like if I had to, if I had to convince someone television was a good idea, I would just show them Avatar The Last Airbender. So with that in mind, I'm sure if you make a sequel that isn't equally as perfect, you end up with people saying it's bad because their expectations are so astronomically high. That is also fair. I haven't seen Infinity Train. I should. I need to find a way to watch it first. Over the Garden Wall is amazing. I was just like kind of interested in it. And then, you know, it all came out and I was like, this is fucking amazing. You know what I want to know? And there's probably tons of, you know, interviews that explain it. How did they pitch that to Cartoon Network? How would they pitch it like, hey, we don't want to do a series, we want to do five episodes of just this one really like aesthetically pleasing kind of fairy tale esque plot. Oh, so Pig, you're not a fan like me. 
You know this? Go on, pig. I would love to hear it. Unironically. Absolutely post that in chat. Juice and Spooked are having a small war in my chat. A war for a war with an audience of five people. A fun to all. Absolutely. I love I love knowing me some facts about animals. Cartoon Network had a ton of extra money after a super good programming year. So they let anybody in the comp company pitch ship. And that... See, here's the thing. That I, I love that story. And here's the thing, right? I, I, I completely understand. At this point, it has been taught to me that I understand enough that when businesses get too big, that's a problem. But supporting certain big businesses, like maybe just like cartoon, like a channel, like Cartoon Network, can also give opportunities to people, and that can be really cool. I think it's a, I don't think it's black, what I'm trying to say is I don't think that issue is black and white. I think there's complex shades of gray, as there is with everything in life. I think a lot of people try and paint things really simple. Damn, Spoot got him. Spoot got him. Also, we're gonna do one more frame because that will end out the loop. And then I'm probably gonna stop streaming. Pink is a good color. Yes. Hey, can I say I love that meme? There are some meme, there are some, you know, everyone, there's many m days in, on the internet where everyone's like, man, everything is so awful here. Why do we use this so much? But there's been some memes going around recently that I freaking love. And even though 2020 has been an awful year, those memes I will always look fondly upon. For example, the astronaut meme, the are you winning son, which I, say constantly and the whole yes meme the one where it's just like yes i think those are good they're funny they make me laugh are you talking about over the garden wall pig or the other one of the other shows zade has mentioned Because here's the thing, being puppy, okay. I will still say this, and this goes for, um, this goes for Avatar too, which is one reason I think Korra kind of gets a bad rep, is when you have a show that ends, and like, there is an ending written in, and you like the show as it is, you do, like you can want more, but there shouldn't, there shouldn't be more, you know what I mean? Like, we can all get that you might wanna kind of have some more time with these characters, that's fine. When a show is written to end, and it does a good job at doing that, you shouldn't demand another season. Cause I guarantee, even though you think it will capture that magic again, when the story is over, like, sto story's ending is one thing that makes so many stories good. Like for example, this is a movie I hadn't seen, but I'd heard so much about, and when I saw it, I was like, I got it. Forrest Gump. Like, Forrest Gump is like a collection of this character's adventures, right? And, um, and part of what makes the movie so good is that it ends on this note of resolution. And it's, and, and, and you get like this, I mean, I could go into the thematic things about Forrest Gump, but I won't. But what I'm saying is, no one would want to want to... Spook doesn't like Forrest Gump. Okay, I'll get off of it. I don't want to talk about Forrest Gump. What I do want to say is that 
Um, what is it? That stories like that, and like so many others, are as good as that. You like them so much, even if you don't realize this, you like them so much because they end. I just won't like it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to talk about it because that's not the subject. I don't even want to talk about Forrest Gump, especially if you don't like enjoy it. But, um, so yeah, even though like any other fan, I understand the struggles of wanting more of your favorite characters and heck, Shira, I've talked about Shira before. I love Shira, the new Shira Princess of Power, the new one, um, Netflix, whatever. I want so many people want a movie. I want a movie. The, I only want a movie. I want like an epilogue to Shira to see more of it. So, to see more of those worlds and characters and of them being happy. I would not want another season of uh, Shira. Heck, I might just want an, uh, a special, like an epilogue special of like, this is their lives now. Oh, where are they now? So. I think if someone isn't into storytelling and isn't into like making stuff, it is, that is almost, that is like an important thing to keep in mind. You want to know an example of so, something that isn't, that hasn't ended and because it hasn't ended, many people are just kind of like tired of it. The Walking Dead. Years ago, everyone loved The Walking Dead. It was the hottest thing on television and you know, people couldn't wait. People loved the story and the writing. Now no one cares because it's gone on so long that they've run out of storylines. And like people, like people are just sick of seeing the same situations and all that stuff. So something like that is a prime example of like, you know, also, you know, you have an extreme ex yeah, no, it does. Hey, Juice, it does. <laughs> Which is something. I mean, it probably doesn't anymore because it's freaking, uh, because, you know, COVID. But it was still going last time I checked. Like, it was in the teens. Which, there's very few shows that can get up into that number that can still be good. And there's even less good story-driven shows that can do that. But anyway, uh, but yeah. So just remember, if you have a favorite story and you're like, man, I wish there was more, and like it, because it has ended, maybe think back onto the fact that its ending might be one of the things you like about it. Oh, spooked. Uh, now that's a pun I liked. What was I thinking of? Also, the another example, the most extreme example of what I'm talking about is One Piece. Because as of this recording, as of this stream, One Piece is entering the, like, you know, I'm, I believe it's getting into the 900s at this point. And even though there are plenty of people who love One Piece, it is completely insular to some people because of how long it's been going. It's not even like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones where it's like, oh, that's long. I might not want to get into it. At least those, those, you know, um, those stories, you know, end. One Piece has no end in sight. Oh, uh, what happened, Vagenta? Vagenta... Hey, Vagenta, do you have, like, consoles? Do you have older consoles you like to play on and like to play games on? I keep asking this because I found a cheap capture card that only works with, uh... I'll take that as a no. But I only keep asking this. Quick, someone gift Vagenta an N64 in the next stream. That way you can play the original Paper Mario and Oot on us on the system they were meant to be on. Just donate to Vagenta.
Hey, can we get a exclamation mark Vagenta in chat, please? Did it? Oh, wait, no, you're lying. That's a joke. Listen. N Nintendo's exclusivity can definitely be a bummer sometimes, but at the same time, I kind of just want to encourage Nintendo to do whatever, because there's a lot of really bad game companies out there, and Nintendo doesn't follow those trends. And I would like them to keep not following those trends. And if that means that their games only come out on consoles they've made, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm also saying this because I think the Switch is an amazing machine. So if they just want to keep pumping out first party uh, games for it, I'm okay with that. Because it gives me more excuses to play my Switch. Also, I was playing um, Mario Odyssey uh, earlier today, I was just doing, you know, the post game, because you could just see the post game as like, m just another game entirely, because <laughs> it's so big. Uh, I just wanted to play a collectathon, and man, it's a good game. I'm not good at it, but clearly they put a lot of work into making Mar Mario be like, super n nimble and like super agile and basically good at acrobatics because that's I guess Mario's thing whether we or not we want to admit it and because of that you can watch people play that game also it's happening what's happening <laughs> master oh master chef I have played snippets of Halo. I've never played a full Halo. With that being said, I think more first-person shooters should have single-player campaigns. Because right now, the only first-person shooters I've really ever played are Overwatch and Doom. In that order. And one of the reasons I've only played those many is because I don't really want to get into a game uh, with a dead online community. Also, I'm gonna finish this out with some JoJo. Let the sunshine in. No, not Summer. don't let the sunshine in. Yes. Fuck that. This is from Richard E. B. Ricard E. B. I keep wanting to call him Richard. I had heard something about that, Zade, with the, um, with graphics and blah, blah, this. I have never, unless a game is, like, legitimately ugly to me, I really don't care about graphics. I don't really think it's, like, the technological aspect that bothers me as much as what they use the technology to make the game look like. Because I think there are 8-bit games that look better than some 3, 3D games. In fact, I think most Super Nintendo games look better than just about every N64 game with the exclusion of Paper Mario because it was made to look better. It was made to work aesthetically with the uh it was it was made so that like I remember watching a document not a documentary but just kind of like a did you know about Paper Mario and they were talking about how they were just trying to make another Mario RPG and when they were experimenting with how to make the sprites look it ended up looking papery and they just ran with that. And I think that works out well because clearly the N64 was like the graphics for it were leaning in that direction, which is great because most other N64 games don't look good anymore. 
<laughs> of course, this isn't really graphics talk, is it? Graphic talk is more like, well, how many how many FPSs do you have, and what are, what's the polygon count? Do we got bandwidth? And I don't really care. I do not have enough of an understanding about technology to fix any graphical issues I find. So therefore, I just choose to ignore the graphical issues. But therefore, it is fixed. Magenta's well, been giving out kisses lately. Because he's a sweetie. Golden wind. Guys, did you hear they're adding JoJo to Smash? It's true, my uncle told me. He works at Nintendo. Okay, well, I think we've made a pretty good loop today. Barry rubbing his chin. That's as good as him doing a six hour stream, right? An animation of him rubbing his chin back and forth. That's good, right? Anyway, thank you all for joining me for this surprise stream. I probably won't be actually streaming again until like, you know, uh, Monday because I'll be working, among other things, uh, hopefully. Hmm, I think it's streaming time. Well, actually it's raiding time, Magenta. Did you know, did you know it's raiding time? And we got, and we need to find someone to raid. No one, it says no one I follow is raiding. Would anyone like a suggestion? Who, if I stop stream, when I stop streaming, who are y'all gonna go watch? And just shout their names out. San is live. Who is San? Pess is live. Pess? Is Manic streaming? I kind of want to stream Manic. Also, I should have. I should be following Manic. Apparently, they're streaming uh, some kind of Avatar thing. It just says Avatar The Last Airbender. Are they just watching it? Manic is also live. That's right, man. Okay. Pess or Manic? Found of those three. Okay, uh, Manic. It's a game. Gotcha. Then we will be raiding Manic. But, I mean, there's many Atla games. I believe none of them have been super good. Because, uh, what was I thinking of? Because if they were good, you probably would have heard them. But, at least we have, at least we have the series. Okay, thanks guys for joining me on this surprise stream. I don't know if you'll see much of this. By the time you see this again, it'll probably be done. <laughs> Unless I do another surprise stream. Thanks guys. See ya. Bye.